What is Easter? Meaning and holiday celebrations explained. Greetings everyone and welcome back to FDT Christian Lifestyle Channel, your source for spiritual insights and inspiration. With Easter approaching, Christians around the world are preparing to celebrate one of the most significant events in the Christian calendar, the resurrection of Jesus Christ. In this video, we'll explore some compelling reasons why Christians celebrate Easter and why it holds such profound significance for believers everywhere. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. So let's dive in and uncover the spiritual richness and significance of this sacred holiday. What is Easter? Easter is a Christian religious holiday, also known as a feast day, that celebrates the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, as described in the New Testament of the Bible. It is considered the most important and oldest festival of the Christian Church. The exact date of Easter varies each year because it is based on the lunar calendar. It generally falls on the first Sunday after the first full moon following the vernal equinox, which is around March 21. As a result, Easter can occur between March 22 and April 25. In addition to its religious significance, Easter has also become associated with various secular traditions and customs. These include the Easter bunny, egg decorating, egg hunts, and the giving of Easter baskets filled with candy and gifts. These traditions are often observed by people of various religious and cultural backgrounds, making Easter a widely celebrated and recognized. The meaning of Easter. So what is Easter? And why do Christians place such a high importance on this holiday? Easter commemorates the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the tomb, occurring three days after his crucifixion. It fulfills the prophecy of the Messiah's persecution, death for our sins and resurrection as foretold in Isaiah 53. This event serves as a reminder of our victory over sin and a source of daily hope. According to the New Testament, Easter falls three days after Jesus' crucifixion, following a period of fasting known as Lent, which begins on Ash Wednesday and concludes on Good Friday, the day of Jesus' death. Pope Gregory, I established the 40-day duration of Lent, drawing inspiration from the biblical accounts of Israel, Moses, Elijah, and Jesus' time in the wilderness. After Christians spend time in reflection during the 40 days of Lent, we remember the event that shook the whole world, that our Lord conquered death. The Old Testament prophesied about this event hundreds of times, hundreds to thousands of years prior to the resurrection. It's not just a big deal. It's the biggest deal in all of Christianity. The Easter story, as recounted in all four Gospels of the New Testament, begins with the crucifixion of Jesus Christ, his burial and culminates in his resurrection from the dead. In Matthew, Mark, Luke and John, Jesus is crucified by the Roman authorities at the instigation of religious leaders. He is then buried in a tomb belonging to Joseph of Arimathea. On the third day after his death, women visit the tomb and find it empty, with angels announcing Jesus' resurrection. They encounter Jesus alive, who then appears to his disciples, providing them with evidence of his resurrection before ascending into heaven. This miraculous event confirms Jesus' identity as the Son of God and the fulfillment of prophecies regarding the Messiah. Easter is one of the most important holidays in the Christian calendar. It commemorates the resurrection of Jesus Christ, who Christians believe was sent to earth to offer salvation from sin. For many, Easter is also a time to reflect on the meaning of life and the power of love and forgiveness. Through the symbolism of Easter, Christians are reminded that no matter how dark things may seem, there is always hope in the power of resurrection and new beginnings. Why do Christians celebrate Easter? Easter marks the triumphant victory of Jesus Christ over death and the grave, demonstrating His power to conquer sin and offer eternal life to all who believe in Him. We celebrate Easter because not only did our Lord conquer death, but without the resurrection, we have no foundation for our faith. 1 Corinthians 15, 13, 15 says, if there is no resurrection of the dead, then not even Christ has been raised. And if Christ has not been raised, our preaching is useless and so is your faith. More than that, we are then found to be false witnesses about God, for we have testified about God that He raised Christ from the dead. But He did not raise Him if in fact the dead are not raised. In other words, Christianity has no point if the resurrection didn't happen. Christians would have been martyred for nothing and placed their faith in false hope. Thankfully, the resurrection did occur, and for those reasons, we have immense hope and assurance. It is through the resurrection that we find assurance of our redemption and the promise of new life in Christ. Furthermore, the resurrection validates Jesus' identity as the Son of God and confirms His authority to grant forgiveness of sins and reconcile humanity with God. Therefore, Easter is not merely a celebration of an event in history, but a proclamation of the foundational truth that shapes our entire faith journey and offers hope for the future. 
Five reasons why Christians celebrate Easter. The good news of Easter and every day is that Jesus died for the sins of humankind and was resurrected. His resurrection shows that he is the promised Messiah, Saviour and Divine Son of God. On Easter, Christians gather to celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ. The day is joyous with praise and thanksgiving for the gift of salvation that we receive through Jesus' death and resurrection. Christians celebrate and declare this good news because it is foundational to our faith and hope. Without the resurrection of Christ, we would still be lost in our sins and hopeless. Therefore, Easter is important to Christianity because it reminds us of Jesus' resurrection, which impacts all areas of our faith and life. 1. Jesus was resurrected. On Easter, also known as Resurrection Sunday, believers celebrate the truth that Jesus rose from the dead. The Friday before, which is traditionally called Good Friday, Christ was crucified. He died and was buried that day in a tomb owned by Joseph of Arimathea, John 1988-42. The women saw where Jesus was buried and wanted to finish his burial ritual by anointing the body Mark 1547-161. However, they had to keep the Sabbath, which began on Friday at sunset. Early on Sunday, they visited the place where Jesus was buried and found that the tomb was empty Mark 16:24. Not only did they find the empty tomb, but an angel announced the good news that Jesus was resurrected, and the women saw the risen Lord Matthew 28, 8, 10, Mark 16, 5, 7. Christ also appeared to the disciples, to his half-brother James, and to over 500 people at once, 1 Corinthians 15, 4, 7. The good news of Easter is that Jesus Christ is risen. To clarify, Jesus' resurrection was not symbolic or imaginary. Paul carefully documented the numerous witnesses of Christ's resurrection to show that it is credible and based on fact. Also, despite what some cult groups claim, the resurrected Christ was not a spirit being. Jesus rose from the dead physically, which means he had a real body. He ate with the disciples after his resurrection, Luke 24, 30, 42, 43. Furthermore, his hands and feet bore the scars from crucifixion, John 20, 27. As the Lord told the disciples, see my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Touch me and see. For a spirit does not have flesh and bones as you see that I have Luke 24, 39, SV. 2. The resurrection validates Jesus' identity. Since Jesus rose from the dead, he proves that he is the Son of God, Messiah, and the Savior of the world. Jesus stated throughout his ministry that he would die and be raised to life on the third day, Matthew 16, 21, 17, 22, 23, 2019, Mark 8, 31, 9, 31, 10, 34. Luke 24, 7, 46. When the Jews asked Jesus for a sign to prove that he is the Messiah, he gave them the sign of Jonah, which is his death and resurrection, Matthew 12, 38, 40. If the resurrection had never occurred, then Jesus could not have been the promised Messiah. Instead, he would be a liar because he said he would be resurrected. His identity as the Savior Messiah and divine Son of God rests on the truth of the resurrection. The message that believers proclaim every year at Easter is that Jesus is who he claimed to be. He did raise from the dead, showing that he is the Savior, Messiah, and perfect Son of God. Through his resurrection, Jesus proved that his message and mission are true. 3. The resurrection is foundational to the Christian faith. During Easter, believers remember the resurrection because it is foundational to our faith, like the foundation of a house. Without this foundation, the house and our faith would not stand. As Paul wrote in his letter to the Corinthian church, if Christ has not been raised, your faith is futile. You are still in your sins, 1 Corinthians 15, 17. Without the resurrection, there would be no hope for salvation, eternal life, or a basis for faith. Paul described our state if the resurrection were not true. If only for this life we have hope in Christ, we are of all people most to be pitied, 1 Corinthians 15, 19. Christians would have no reason for sharing the gospel or dying for their faith because they would have no hope of heaven or assurance of a future resurrection. All these rhetorical what-ifs are not just an exercise in the theoretical. In our Western secular culture, people commonly assume that all religions are equally true and valid. However, Jesus is the only way to salvation, not one path among many, John 14, 6. His resurrection is not merely a religious position I hold, but a truth that I am willing to live and die for. The entire Christian faith is based on the truth that the tomb was empty on that first Easter Sunday and that Jesus was physically raised, as Scripture declares 1 Corinthians 15, 4. Because he is alive, we have the promise of living forever with the Lord and being resurrected by him at his coming 1 Corinthians 15, 20, 23. 4. Easter reminds us of our salvation. 
On Easter, we celebrate Christ's resurrection and the salvation he has given us. God the Father sent his Son into the world with the mission of redemption and reconciliation, John 3:16, 2 Corinthians 5, 18, 19. Although he is God, Jesus became a man at the incarnation so he could die for the sins of humankind, Hebrews 2, 14, 15. Only Christ, who is fully God and fully man, could have done this because of his sinless humanity. As the suffering servant, Jesus bore the sins of all people in his body at the crucifixion, Isaiah 53, 5. He paid the sin debt we owe and took the punishment we deserve, Romans 3.25, 2 Corinthians 5.21. He was buried and stayed in the tomb for three days before rising from the dead. By believing in Jesus' death and resurrection, people receive salvation from their sins, Romans 10.9.11. Only Jesus can save anyone since following a religion or doing good deeds will never bring salvation, Acts 4.12, Ephesians 2.8.9. Therefore, Easter reminds us of the wonderful gift of salvation that Jesus gave us. 5. Celebrating Easter serves as a testimony to the gospel. A final reason Christians celebrate Easter is that it serves as a testimony to Jesus' saving work. During a day when others are focusing on spring, believers meet for worship and declare that Jesus is risen indeed. As the old Easter hymn declares, Christ the Lord is risen today, alleluia. Through our celebration, we show the world the truth of the gospel message that Jesus died for our sins, was buried and rose to life. He gave us new lives and an assured hope for the future 2 Corinthians 5.17, Hebrews 6.19. We cannot help but celebrate and praise him. Celebrating Christ's saving work is not limited to Easter. Every day we can cherish Jesus' resurrection, choosing to honor our Lord and Savior. Our lives can serve as an ongoing testimony to the gospel as we follow Jesus during special days and ordinary days. We can worship and praise our risen Lord daily. What does this mean? The good news of Easter and every day is that Jesus died for the sins of humankind and was resurrected. His resurrection shows that He is the promised Messiah, Saviour and Divine Son of God. Also, the truth of the empty tomb is vital to our salvation and foundational to our faith. Because He lives, we have hope, life and an everlasting relationship with the One who loves us most. That is worth celebrating. Well, let us summarize what we have covered so far in this video. Celebrating Easter is about rejoicing in the risen Christ. In the days leading up to Easter, we recount his horrific death on the cross. It is a death Jesus died willingly, Mark 10.45, John 10.18. He came to earth as a baby in order to live a perfect human life and one day die as the sacrifice for sin. At Easter time, generally on Good Friday, we remember his sacrifice and thank him for it. But it is not only Jesus' death on the cross that is important. Jesus' resurrection proclaims his victory over sin and death. Jesus was crucified, died and was buried. Then he rose back to life, proving he is who he says he is and that he accomplished what he came to earth to accomplish. Jesus Christ is fully God, fully human and our only Savior. It is because he is risen that we can trust in his sacrifice for our sins and receive new life in him. His resurrection also demonstrates that His promise to resurrect us one day will come true. The Apostle Paul wrote, For what I received I passed on to you as of first importance, that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures, that He was buried, that He was raised on the third day according to the Scriptures, and that He appeared to Cephas and then to the Twelve. After that He appeared to more than 500 of the brothers and sisters at the same time, most of whom are still living, though some have fallen asleep. Then he appeared to James, then to all the apostles, and last of all he appeared to me also, 1 Corinthians 15 3, 8. It is this important reality that we pause to focus on and rejoice in at Easter. Easter is the time to celebrate Jesus' victory and to celebrate the new life he gives. All can have their sins forgiven and experience new life in him if they will receive him in faith. It is fitting that Easter occurs in the springtime. Much like spring is the time when new life grows after the death brought about by winter, so Jesus brings new life to those who were formerly dead in sin Ephesians 2.1.10. The life Jesus brings is eternal. We celebrate the reality of his death and resurrection every day, and especially at Easter. We can trust him and worship him all year through because he is risen. We end this video by looking at 20 reasons why we celebrate Easter. 1. The Resurrection of Jesus Christ Easter commemorates the central event of the Christian faith, the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. 2. Victory over death. Easter celebrates the victory of Jesus over sin and death, offering hope and assurance of eternal life to all who believe. 3. Redemption and forgiveness. Through his death and resurrection, 
Jesus provided redemption and forgiveness for humanity's sins, reconciling us to God. 4. Fulfillment of Prophecy The resurrection of Jesus fulfills Old Testament prophecies and confirms His identity as the Messiah. 5. Renewal of Faith Easter invites believers to experience a renewal of faith and spiritual transformation through the power of Christ's resurrection. 6. Assurance of Salvation The resurrection of Jesus assures believers of their salvation and the promise of life everlasting. 7. Reconciliation with God Easter signifies the reconciliation of humanity with God, restoring the broken relationship caused by sin. 8. Hope and Encouragement Easter offers hope and encouragement to believers, reminding them of God's faithfulness and love. 9. Victory over evil The resurrection of Jesus symbolizes victory over the forces of evil, darkness and despair. 10. Promise of new life Easter represents the promise of new life in Christ, as believers are born anew through faith in Him. 11. Celebration of love Easter is a celebration of God's unconditional love for humanity, demonstrated through the sacrifice and resurrection of Jesus. 12. Triumph of Goodness Easter demonstrates the triumph of goodness and righteousness over sin and corruption. 13. Unity in Christ Easter unites believers around the world in a shared celebration of their common faith and belief in the risen Lord. 14. Transformation of Heart Easter inspires believers to undergo a transformation of heart and mind, living in accordance with the teachings of Jesus. 15. Forgiveness of Sins The resurrection of Jesus provides the means for the forgiveness of sins and the cleansing of the soul. 16. Witness to the World Easter serves as a powerful witness to the world of God's saving grace and the reality of Christ's resurrection. 17. Anticipation of His Return Easter reminds believers of the promise of Jesus' return and the establishment of God's kingdom on earth. 18. Joy and Celebration Easter is a time of joy and celebration, as believers rejoice in the triumph of Christ over death. 19. Eternal Hope Easter instills believers with a sense of eternal hope, knowing that their future is secure in the hands of a risen Saviour. 20. Proclamation of Faith Easter is an opportunity for believers to proclaim their faith in Jesus Christ as the risen Lord and Saviour. And there you have it, friends. The reasons why Christians celebrate Easter a holiday filled with hope, joy, and the assurance of salvation. As we prepare to celebrate this sacred occasion, may we reflect on the profound significance of Christ's resurrection and its transformative impact on our lives. If you found this video meaningful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Christian Lifestyle Channel for more spiritual content and insights. Until next time, may you experience the blessings and joy of Easter in your life. Take care and God bless.